Aside from the fact that they can still be accepted by the player next in rotation, the laws relating to calls out of rotation changed significantly in the 2017 laws. So you should forget whatever you thought you knew about them before and be sure to consult your current law book. There are now far more situations where a normal bridge auction can take place, avoiding forcing the offending side to make a guess at the final auction, which so often used to create an extreme result and not always in favour of the non-offending side. Oh, you're not dealer. So I'm not. Uh, shall we call the director over? I think we'd better. Director? Right, how can I help you? Um, she uh, opened and she wasn't the dealer. Ah, oh, right, yes, I see. So we've got a call out of rotation. So the first thing is that if you wish, you're allowed to accept it. And if you do, you can bid and then the auction just carries on from there. Don't want to accept it. Okay, if you don't want to accept it, then the auction reverts to West. He can do anything he likes, but it's unauthorised information to him that his partner wanted to pass. That's not likely to matter at the moment, but it could do later on. So you just do what you would like to do, and then you're allowed to make any call which is what we call comparable, which means that it shows less than opening values. Anything at all that is limited to a hand with less than opening values, you'll be allowed to do. The auction now reverts to West. That pass has gone. You can make your call. Now you can make any call as long as it shows less than opening values. Oh, so I can bid three hearts? Yes, you can, if that shows less than opening values in your system. Yes. Yep. And you all just carry on from there and call me back if you need to later on. Great. Okay. Thank, you. Thank you. When the offender can't find a comparable call, note that it's offender's partner who is barred from bidding for one round. And lead penalties may apply as well as there being unauthorised information to take account of. Sorry, you're not the dealer. Um, I'll call the director if that's okay. Director, please. Right, I can help. Opening bid out of turn. Okay, so uh, if you wish, you're, as the next person in turn, you're allowed to accept that, and if you do everything, we'll just carry on from there. I don't want to, do. Otherwise, it reverts to South. Um, he, if he passes, then you must repeat the call. If he doesn't pass, you're allowed to make any other call that shows what we call is a comparable call, so essentially one that shows a very similar hand or um, a narrower definition of the same sort of hand. So if you're not sure about these when it comes to it, then we can go away from the table if you want, but or you can ask me anything you like. So uh, I asked you if you wanted to yeah, accept it and you don't. That is cancelled. The auction reverts here. If he passes, you must bid it again. And if he doesn't, we'll talk about that then. So can I bid one spade now? Right, well for most people a one spade overcall is not comparable to a one spade opening bid because generally people will overcall with a rather weaker hand. I assume that's the same for your partnership. Mm -hmm, so you're not allowed to do that. If there is another bid available that does show at least opening values and a spade suit of some length, any length, So I could bid two spades. Well how do you place your jump overcalls? What do we they play show? strong. You play them as strong. So strong. Right. Well, then we would consider that to be a comparable call on the basis that it's what we call a subset of the bids, the, the hands that you might have shown by your opening bid. So, yes, you're allowed to do that. And uh, the auction will carry on from there. And as always, if you have any concerns later on, call me back and we can talk about it. Thank okay. you. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you.